All right, guys, welcome back to the sawmill, even though there's not a sawmill here yet. But uh, before we get started here, let's cover one thing real fast. Been getting a lot of questions here about this truck on Instagram. I posted a picture a few weeks ago of it sitting in the background. And a lot of you guys noticed that, yes, we did get a different truck here at the sawmill. We traded the old gasser for this diesel. This is a 2020 Chevy 2500, which means it's a three quarter ton truck. It's a Silverado work truck, so it's not got a lot of bells and whistles on it, but it does have something I really wanted. And that is a Duramax diesel with the Allison 10 speed transmission. Now this truck looks really similar to the one we traded on. And that was a 2016 2500, but it was a gas. This is a diesel, of course, a lot better torque. There's a sticker right there that my friend Brandon made for us. I guess that kind of tells everybody what kind of sawmill we'll be getting here pretty soon. Had to add the toolbox to it. It already had the spray in bed liner. And other than the diesel engine, one thing that I really liked about this truck is a backup camera. I don't know how I got by with that one of those guys. That is really nice right there. The camera is right here and the light for it is right there. This truck is not brand new, it's a 2020. It had about 30,000 miles on it when we bought it. And the only thing I don't like about this truck are the aftermarket wheels that the previous owner put on it. Those things are ugly right there. I can't stand them. I need to find something better to put on the truck besides those. I'm not crazy about the general grabber tires either. I never had those before. I'm a BF Goodridge guy on tires. I like those all terrains. But those wheels are terrible. I have to replace those sooner than later. Now we're going to head up to the shop and get in the tracker and get a bottle of propane and head down to the burn pile. It's about time we got rid of that mess down there. All right, friends, the fire is still going. It's been on for about four hours now. It's usually an all day event right there. But right now I'm up here at the house taking part in something a little bit more important. And that is grilling some hamburgers. Looks like they're about done. All right, guys, it's after dinner. Headed up here to the sawmill building get on the tractor and put the bucket on, see if we can push some of that stuff together in the middle to get the rest of it to burn. And I have people ask me all the time, why don't you sell your straps? Well, nobody won't come get them is the problem. You can do stuff for bowl turners, 
you know, handle makers and stuff like that if you have time. I really don't have time to cut that stuff up to size. And I offer it free to people, but they won't come get it. We're up here at the sawmill building, and as you can see, the tractor's parked up here. And a lot of you guys have been asking, when are you going to get a new sawmill? Are you going to get a new sawmill? What kind of sawmill, etc.? Well, we are replacing the LT40. I'm not sure when, hopefully in about three to four weeks. But I'm not going to let you guys know just yet what we're getting. But it is going to be a wood miser, so it's probably not that hard to figure out. So let's jump in the tractor, go get the bucket, and work on that burn pile some more. friends we got that burning pretty decent there that's gonna burn for about a day or two though that sawdust right there takes so long to burn and I, sometimes i put some of it in the garden but we produce so much of it you just can't save every bit of it so we usually burn it here at the mill i get a lot of questions as well people want to know why i don't give that stuff to uh, farmers for livestock and the reason being they won't come get it imagine that it's just like the scrap wood people won't come get it all right, while I'm watching that burn, I might as well get something else done here. So I think I'm going to grab the grease gun and lubricate the backhoe and head down to the timber frame to start digging a trench. I need to dig about a 60-foot trench to run power from the service over to the barn. friends let me give you all an idea of what we're doing here right here is the side of the timber frame now it's not finished that's pretty obvious right there i need to put some siding on this wall right here we also need to build the other room on the back side over there but what i'm going to do is go ahead and run power over here because i need to hook up the molder the wood miser molder is sitting right in there and it's waiting on power and I've already installed a 200 amp panel on the other side of that wall right there. So what we're looking at is about 60 feet from right there over there to the power pole, which is also the same service that feeds the L200 kiln. And as I'm trying to tell you guys about this stuff, all I can smell is cedar. Check these out. I got these in right before we sold the LT40. Look at that cedar right there, guys. Some of those are 24 feet long. I cannot wait to get those on the new sawmill, hopefully sooner than later. Some good looking cedar right there. Man, they smell good. So anyways, guys, we'll jump on the backhoe and see what we can get done tonight. I'm gonna to start right there against the building right there at the footer and see how far we can come over before it gets dark on us. <laughs> 